Hi guys, this is once again Jacob John and today with me is Ruth Matthew. Together we're going to do another role play card. In this particular role play card, the nurse is speaking to a carer, a caregiver or a relative. Let's see who the person is of the patient. When we are speaking to a relative, a carer or a caregiver, what are things we have to keep in our mind and what are facts we have to ponder over to make them understand what's the condition of the patient or what the patient is going through and what's the best for the patient according to the need of the hour. So now let's see how this particular role play card winds up. Um, good morning. Good morning. This is Nurse Jacob over here in this reception department of Dialysis Centre. Uh, I just saw that you dropped somebody into this particular ward, the Dialysis Ward, yes. and I was just uh, looking at you. You were just waiting at the counter besides uh, yes. me. Yes. Could you please tell me, is there anything can I do for you? I dropped my father today because right. uh, he was diagnosed with kidney failure and he was told oh. that he has to undergo dialysis three times a week. So I want right. to know more about uh, the kidney failure and uh, the procedure, the dialysis that he has to go through. Okay. Can you please explain me? Of course nurse? I can. I don't worry about it. That is my job to explain and to okay. make everybody understand what difficulties they're having right now. So uh, just in case, can I just get your father's name over here? Just see the record and uh, find out what exactly is the case. Yes, his name is Alex. Alex. Yes. All right, wait a moment, please. Thank you so much, Ruth. Uh, it seems like your father is diagnosed with uh, kidney failure. Yes. Okay, and uh, could you just give me a little bit of details? Uh, for instance, like when did you first notice that your father's kidneys were not at all working? Like he was not passing any urine or he was having some sort of sign and symptoms such as uh, uh, a little bit of swelling on his ankles and a little bit of puffiness under his eyes and cheeks. Could you just give me a little bit of a data? Yes, he. Uh, I noticed the symptoms three weeks ago. Oh, right. He was having difficulty in uh, passing the urine. Okay. And he was saying that he was kind of having a pain in there as well. All right. And uh, the swelling was there oh. on his feet. Yes. And that's the reason I think that you came to see the nephrologist. Yes, yes. Right, and a couple of uh, scans were taken, as I have just exactly. seen his record right now. A couple of scans were taken, yeah. and uh, he was uh, like advised to undergo dialysis. Yes. So, do you have any idea regarding what dialysis is all about? No, I don't know what exactly the okay. procedure is. Don't worry, uh, it's not at all of an issue. I'll just explain it to you shortly. And if there's anything that if you cannot understand, just to ask me. Okay. Um, there are actually two types of dialysis. One is hemodialysis and the other is peritoneal dialysis. But in your father's case, uh, I'm, I'm really sorry to say that. I really uh, do really apologize. Uh, um, your father's kidneys are not at all working. There's only one person chance uh, that your father's kidney will work. Work, and it's really okay. important for him to undergo this particular dialysis session. Okay. Why? Because the latest blood examination and the latest blood report shows that uh, serum creatinine, which is a very vital component in the blood, is really high. And apart from that, uh, other elements such as potassium and sodium is also really high. So if time to time elimination of toxic products from his body, which the kidney usually do through urine, is not carried out, he could go into certain complications such as okay. a sudden respiratory arrest, uh, a multi-organ disorder, function and also sometimes he would go into some sort of a hemodynamic shock which is okay. actually related to blood and uh, it is quite irreversible. Okay. Um, yes, uh, uh, my intention was not to make you afraid but yeah. uh, to make you aware of the consequences if the dialysis is not done immediately. Okay. So that could be one of the reasons that the doctor has advised him to undergo dialysis three times per week. Is there anything else that you would like to know other than the dialysis? Is it a painful procedure? Oh, well, exactly. Almost all the procedures are uh, having a little bit of pain, but don't worry. Uh, in this particular dialysis procedure, we have to first uh, create an axis that we call, and in his case, we would uh, prefer an arterial venous fistula that we're going to create in his arm, uh, according to this particular brachial site of fold okay. over here in the hand. Okay. Exactly here. To create that particular fistula that we call as it's a connection, so that particular fistula to create needs an insertion of needles and uh, a little bit of a small surgical procedure but don't worry or we will be like using some sort of a local numbing agent that we call as a local anesthetic cream or an ointment or a spray okay. so he won't be uh, knowing that but uh, a little while later he might experience a little bit of pain and once when the dialysis session is starting the needles will be inserted into that particular 
fistula and the other end will be connected to the dialysa in a dialysis machine which acts as an artificial kidney and uh, the blood from his body will be pumped into the dialysis, the whole dialysis machine and everything and it will be circulating, clearing off all sorts of toxic products which will be collected in another source. And okay. yes, and depending upon the collection or depending upon the blood examination of a patient, like the potassium, sodium and creatinine levels, and depending upon the blood toxicity, the dialysis hours will be scheduled. Uh, for the first session of dialysis, I think your father might be having 12 hours. Let me just check over here once again. Yes, it is 12 hours. Okay. But don't worry, a nurse will be there at his bedside and the nurse will be taken care of. I know that there are certain side effects also uh, associated with dialysis. For instance, he will be having a little bit of muscle cramps, he will be feeling thirsty and he will be having a little bit of uh, tiredness. But don't worry, we'll manage it accordingly uh, with necessary medications. Okay. I hope the whole procedure is understandable to you. Don't worry about it, Ruth. Your father is totally in the safe hands. Is there anything else that I can do for you, Ruth, right now? Yeah, one more thing that I want to ask. Exactly. He has to undergo this procedure three times a week. Um, is it necessary? Well, yes, it is. As I have told you, that his kidney is only having 1% chance of working normally. So, okay. of course, he has to take this three times per week initially. And let us see how far it goes. And once, uh, if he's coming back to the routine, the doctor might lower the, uh, would you say, sittings for maybe two or maybe one. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, Ruth, for spending time with me. And thank you so much that you understood what I exactly told you. I'm, I'm really delighted. Thank you so much for answering my questions. Thank that you. was really helpful. All right.